Beck. Ultimate Fire Starting Solutions. Katlecha, it is the weekend. Time to get inspired. I've got Dalian, um, um, uh, Linda Q from Pit Masters here. There is not a fire on Main Road, no, but we are getting smoky. In fact, we're going to help you bring an entirely new flavored dimension to the braai. Dalian, thank you so much for rushing to set up this incredible, um, I'm going to call it um, braaiing contraption. Well, it is, in fact, a smoking contraption. But I'm going to ask you first, um, a big difference, obviously, to, to the way we normally braai meat. Why are you guys? Is so passionate about smoking meat. Um, my passion with smoking meat is basically it's all about the flavor. Smoked meat, uh, the wood puts such a good smoke onto the onto the meat, and it's such a unique taste that's not really available here in South Africa. And uh, you can typically take a really ordinary tough cut of meat and smoke it and change it into something that's absolutely delicious and tender. It's going to literally fall off the bone. I love it. So what are the chief differences, um, if you can summate it, between brying and between smoking our meat? Sure. So when you braai your meat at home, typically you're using an open wood fire and you're cooking the meat using direct heat. Uh, at Pitmasters, we use indirect heat using an offset smoker. Uh, you basically make your fire in the smoke chamber on this side. The smoke travels up the chamber. Your meat goes into the main meat chamber. The smoke travels across and back out on the smoke stack again. Um, in this way, it's basically cooking the meat as well, but also putting a lot of flavor onto the meat. I know there are briars out there like, yes, a new contraption. I love it. It looks like our own little steam engine here. Um, very cool. Now, I've, I've heard about cold smoking and hot smoking. What's the difference there? Sure. So cold smoke, uh, you're typically looking at products like cheeses, butters, dairy Ooh. products like this. Uh, when you cold smoke, you're just putting flavor onto the product. You're not actually cooking the product. Typically, you'd cold smoke a product and at a later stage, put it in an oven or put it on a grill. Uh, when you hot smoke, like we do at Pitmasters, you, uh, the smoke actually puts the flavor on the meat, but it fully cooks the meat as well. So the whole process is done in the smoker from table to end. Um, just the word infusion really does come to mind here. I love the fact that you are, you are adapting the flavor even with the kind of woods that you are using. So how do we achieve the perfect smoke? Talk to me from a braai builder's perspective. Absolutely. So since we've started here in Cape Town, we found that uh, the fruit tree woods are the ones that smoke the best. Oh. When they burn, they burn a really sweet smell and taste, but they burn very quickly. So we've had to do a combination with the oaks. So the oak gives a really strong smoky smell and taste to the meat, and the grape vineyards put a really sweet smell on the meat. Um, you can use any fruit tree if you don't have access to grape vineyards or oak. You can use any fruit tree to, to smoke your meat. Oh, I know a lot of wine farmers out there now. I just had light bulb moments here of what they could reintroduce, diversify their offering. I absolutely love it. Now, um, how do we go about creating the perfect flavor? Some, I, I know most of us are going to be novice smokers out there, but can you give us some tips on creating the perfect smoked flavor? Absolutely. So there's different, there's several different cuts of meat that you can use to smoke. Uh, typically what we're using is the pork shoulder. Uh, we're using the beef brisket and we're using the beef chuck as well. You can just ask your butcher to debone you a piece of meat like that. Uh, once you have your piece of meat, make sure you leave a good fat cap on it because yeah. that fat cap ensures that the meat is, stays moist because it's many hours of smoking. So once you have this, you need to create a dry rub. A dry okay. rub is a basic mix of salt, sugar, spices like cumin and paprika. You take your cut of meat, you liberally rub it with this, and basically you're ready to smoke. Are some meats, I know you've mentioned some beautiful cuts of meat there, and often ones that, that get overlooked in a braai sense, or often just as being too tough. Are there any no-go areas, any meats that aren't really suitable for smoking? Um, the main thing is the fat. As long as it's not a lean cut of meat, a lean cut of meat typically dries out in the smoker. But you can throw anything in the smoker. We've, um, we've even put baked beans into the smoker. So anything that you, that you think could smoke probably will take smoke as well. Then lastly, very quickly, I have to ask, how would you serve your smoked meat? Any, any tips there, inspiration? Absolutely. So at Pitmasters, we are using our pulled pork. Uh, we're shredding it once we've cooked it. Oh. We're mixing it with a nice tangy barbecue sauce and putting it on a panini bread. Uh, to top that off, like Texas style, we're putting a big scoop of coleslaw on it. So uh, that's kind of the perfect meal. Oh, man, I just heard in one collective go the entire studio upstairs, standing up and now looking over the top of the balcony. Well, we're going to help you guys on your way with your own 
Bic Fire Bry kit to help you on your way. There are some incredible goodies in there. You've got your Bic Fire lighter itself, your individually wrapped little briquettes, your 24 pre-cut bricks as well. A whole load of goodies to get you started over the weekend. All you have to do is SMS the keyword Bic to 33728. That's Bic to 33728. And we could help you become not only the ultimate briar, but the ultimate smoker as well. Delian, thank you so much. I'm very excited. I think we're going to have to get some of this pulled pork going. I know that Zola especially is very excited about this. I can see your smoke from down here, guys. <laughs>